know, picking right up where we left off again, guys. I hope this is beneficial information for you guys. Hold on, we swapped locations. Oh, we gotta bring that up. Yeah, absolutely. Brand new studio. We are right here, live. At the new studio. At the Pretty new exciting. studio. So, hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, so yeah, so to pick up where we left off, we've gone through all of our, all of our basic programming, our zoning, and we've even gotten into groups as well. Now we're gonna get into scenes. Yeah, and scenes, really make the user experience much easier uh, as far as setting up your house in red, white, and blue, or Christmas, red and green, maybe white on that, you know, whatever you want. So once the system is set up, it's what the user's gonna use. Absolutely, yep. So it, it really, it gives you what you want in less steps than previously before. Correct. You were having to control each zone independently to get maybe a red, white, and blue. Now with one click of the button, everything can go to scenes. That's what we mean by scenes. So let's dive into it. Let's do it. Yeah, so we have everything zoned, light one, light two, light three. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make everything, let's just do a 4th of July, red, white, and blue, okay? So we're gonna turn each one of our lights on just so you can so you can see that, all right? Now, when you have this on your, zones, on your zone screen or your light screen, you have it set up the way you want it, okay? Your whole property, however you want, whatever zones you want, red, white, and blue. Then you go to the Scenes tab, okay? From the Scenes tab, you click on Add Scene, and we're just gonna go ahead and let's name this 4th for 4th of July, okay? We're gonna save this. Now what this does is this is giving you a, a refresher or a, um, a highlight of what how you have your property set up, right? Okay. And if you wanted to change one of the light colors, you could right here before you save you it. You can do it at this time, yep, okay. So now we're gonna save this. The scene has been saved. All right, now it adds it to your list right here. Very simple. So let's uh, let's turn off the entire system and we'll just demonstrate how the scenes work. Okay, all the lights are off. Go to the scenes tab. Now we just hit the play button right here. Now you will notice everything comes on red, white, and blue with one click of the button. Yeah, makes it super simple, really easy to use for your customers. So uh, let's make one more, Rob. So okay. uh, go ahead and uh, let's make a Christmas scene. All right. So let's uh, let's leave light, light one red. We'll do light two green. Yeah, do light do light three white, and let's say that's a flag. Okay. All right. Perfect. We'll do a cold white. Okay. So now what we can do is go to our scenes tab, hit add scene again. We'll call it Xmas or whatever you want. And this is where, like on your flag. Maybe you don't want your flag to change for this scene. As part of the scene, you know? gotcha. And, and, yep. Or maybe, uh, like my bistro lights, I don't want them to change when I hit a scene button, I wanna set them manually. Sure. I wanna do that, I wanna control them manually. Mm -hmm. So uh, the ignore tab on the right of the, on the right side of each zone there, will enables you to do that. So if you ignore that light, what that means is, is, is that zone will not respond to the scene. Perfect. So it will stay as it is. If it was off, it would stay off. It was if it was mm -hmm. on, it would stay on. Mm -hmm. It will just be. It will not react to this scene play button. Yep, yep. So we're gonna save it just like we did before. We have the light three check marked for the ignore. Hit save. The exact same way. Okay. So now let's turn all the lights off. And then let's go and hit play that scene. Playing Christmas. And what you'll see is, is that light one will go red, light two will go green, and light three will stay off. Yep. So uh, because it was ignored, it was already, it was off, already off, it doesn't That's even right. react to that scene. So even though we saved the scene when that thing was white, because we clicked ignore, it doesn't respond to that scene. Gotcha. Yep, absolutely. So if we did need that light, in fact, on, you would have to individually control that light since it's not part of the scene. So something handy to have yep. in certain circumstances. Yep, absolutely. So. I think that's about it with scenes, right? Super pretty, easy. Pretty easy. Yeah. Very, very, very easy. Yeah. So. so next we'll show you how to make events based on the scenes, which is even makes events even easier than they used to be as well. Yep. See you soon.